What's up everybody, it's Sam, and today I'm doing another reading mean tweets slash comments slash hate towards me. So I have a couple screenshots from Twitter and YouTube, and I'm gonna be reading all the hate that I've gotten from a long time ago and recently. So let's get this started. Okay, so this was actually a comment on my video where me and Rosa reacted to watching our wedding video for the first time. And someone just commented, it's awful. Well, you're awful. Because I don't think any wedding is actually awful because they're all so beautiful. Not in a sense of looks, because looks are personal opinions. But getting married to someone you love and having that day to, it's your day, is just so beautiful and so pure that it literally, it can't be awful in any way unless you're a jealous piece of shit. So that's all I'm saying. So this one kind of looks like a reply, but I don't see the reply on it. And it says, I don't care. And yeah, right. They're so young to be getting married. They probably don't even know what love is. Well, I mean, well, it's actually a fact that people that get married between 18 and 21, me, uh, are more likely to stay married rather than older people that get married. So... That's all I'm saying to you guys. The people that are commenting stuff like this. Not not you guys watching, don't worry. Love you guys. But um, yeah. So whatever floats your boat and makes you happy and lets you sleep at night, have fun talking shit. So this next comment is actually from Kylie Jenner and it says, this is stupid. That's all, just this is stupid. It's on one of my videos where I tried applying makeup with an egg, which it actually worked really well. So the next comment is, you look like you're 16. What the fuck, you getting married at 16, bruh? No, um, I'm 21, she's 24, and um, yes, I am getting married. So this next comment is on an old video, like super old video of mine, where I made a truth or dare, where I made a truth or dare video with Yovana Ventura. And um, this kid comments, sorry for my language, I'm just reading what they're saying. How does this faggot ass white kid get to hang out with her? Well, I was friends with her at the time. I wanted to make a video. She was like, let's make a video together. So I made a video with her. So the rest of them are tweets now. So this one is, Sam Podorf is cute and all, but he was a real dick in person. So, and it's like a smiley face. Wow, I don't remember being a dick to anyone. Like I really don't. Maybe I was having a bad day, I'm sorry. But I really, I don't really have anything to say to that because I don't know. I don't remember meeting you. I really try and be nice to everyone, and I really try and give everyone the benefit of the doubt, because if they are having a bad day, like, I'm sorry. I hope you have a better day. But like, if you're being mean to me, I'm gonna be mean to you. That's all I'm saying. You get what you give. So the next one is, I don't care. Sam Podorf is a massive douche, and I have no idea how he can be anyone's idol. Um, I'm people's idol. I mean, it's really weird to say that, because I couldn't imagine that. I, I can't imagine that. But, I mean, I'm not doing drugs. I'm not, like, telling you guys to drop out of school, to do drugs, to do bad stuff. I mean, I really don't think I'm a douche. Maybe I come off as a douche sometimes because I'm hyper, but I'm really, I'm really not. And that's like, I'm saying that because I'm so confident that I'm not. And I'm pretty sure that anyone that knows me can vouch for me. So this next one's pretty funny, actually. So it says, I wish you would notice me with like a ton of heart eye faces, like seven of them. And then it says, so I can tell you how much of a fucking douche you are. Fuck you. Thank you for that. I guess I'm a douche today, guys. I don't know. This next one says, well, Sam Podorf was being a douche and didn't come out yesterday. And uh, they're talking about didn't come out yesterday because I didn't come out of the tour bus because the security was getting mad at me and all the workers were getting mad at me because I wasn't allowed to get out. So in my defense, I didn't come out because I wasn't allowed to, not because I didn't want to. This next one says, never forget how rude you were back when we met in 2013. So actually replied when they tweeted that and I said, how was I mean to you? I'm never mean to anyone for no reason, which is very true. I'm never mean to anyone unless you give me a reason to. I'm not gonna be a kiss ass if you're rude. Like I'm gonna be straight up honest and say I don't like you or how you're acting or call you out. So I can come off as an asshole like that. I'm just completely honest. No, but I replied saying that and she replied, shoot, oh curd. So I think she was just trying to get attention or something. But yeah, guys, so that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I make videos twice a week and they're awesome and you're awesome and let's be awesome together and subscribe to my channel. So you guys are the best and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.